Hi guys, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for joining. So I wanted to use these black wood bunnies for making a bunny vase and I was almost going to do it with drywall compound but I thought no I'm going to make it easier this time so I went to the way I did my Halloween mannequins and that's with doll stuffing and I'll provide a link in the description below and you'll see shortly what I mean. So I cut the wood plaques in half and I shaped it into a body as you can see to fit the vase and those vases are the fishbowl they're similar to the ones from Dollar Tree now I can't remember where I got them but I had a bunch in my stash. These tubes are from, as you can see, from the Dollar Tree mesh rolls. So if you got something that kind of size, that would work. There's the stuffing. It's called Eversoft. You can use pillow stuffing. An old pillow stuffing would work as well. Or cotton balls, you know, just to kind of give it some 3D shaping. And here what I'm doing is trying to create some definition of the features of the bunny. So giving it some facial definition. For the back, you can go sparse. You don't have to give it too much, but the back is visible. So you want it to not look flat. For the back side, not too much on the inside, and on the back side, you're building the bottom of the bunny. So you're giving it a sort of definition for the thighs and the buttocks. Now I contemplated what kind of material I was going to use, so in the end, you're going to see I had um, some different material out, but in the end I went with the chunky yarn. Now if you want you can use a thinner yarn uh, if you don't want to use chunky. I'm not going to spend too much time showing you how I wrapped the ears because I ended up unraveling them and doing it differently but if you want to turn this into a dog it made a cute dog so uh, you can do that if you want to make a dog out of this.
is great if you glue it and close each row close together so it doesn't open up. The fish bowl is pretty easy to wrap around, especially with the chunky yarn. I made it right to the end of the roll with the uh, re remainder of what I had for my first batch of the chunky yarn. I normally use those faux snowballs that you get uh, from Dollar Tree and Dollarama, but I did want it to match the chunky yarn, so I made it out of a golf ball. And I only did half of the ball, and you'll see why. And here with the Jenga blocks, I am making the front of the feet because they're generally smaller on a rabbit and the hind legs are a little bit longer. I uh, just wanted to make them a little bit different. I decided with the tail not to make it look so weird why at the top it's like circular so I decided to put the tail on the top you know when they kind of are laying down and their tail pops up at the top so I decided to put it at the top rather at the back. Here I'm using floral wire to make whiskers and I used a permanent black marker rather than painting it. And if you run that blade across uh, the plastic, uh, which is very dangerous to breathe in, it'll kind of smooth out where you cut off. I decided to give the rabbit a little bling on the glasses just to give it a nice little pop. Here I am rewrapping in a different way for the ears. So this is the way I decided to redo them so they didn't look so bulky because it was hard to get across horizontally. That's why I had to go vertically.
these eyes, I purchased them for my owl project. So I had different ones. You can use the googly ones that you get from Dollar Tree if you wish, or you can draw them in, whichever way you're going to do your project. The white rabbits tend to have either red eyes or blue eyes, so I went with blue. If you wanted to use the rabbit for, for spring later and you wanted it to not have eggs in it, I was giving you an idea you can put a different container in and I put white duct tape in so you wouldn't see the green floral foam. So you could just take the container out and swap it out for anything, different flowers or plant or something else, whatever you want to put in it. What I'm doing is I'm replacing the sticks that came with the eggs with Dollar Tree bamboo skewers because they were too short and I wanted them to stick up. I did make a bow maker and I uh, was going to go grab it and use it, but I wanted to do an easier way of making multiple bows in a shortcut way. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. You just make the bow and then you just add or tie the ends and layer them. This blue one is from my dupe that I made for the 27 inch flock bunny. So I really wanted to add the blue in because it matched the eyes and there's some blue in the eggs. So I only had a few pieces. So for those of you that struggle making bows, it's that easy. Just take a piece and glue it together, as you saw, and then add the tail. The head is quite heavy and I thought of later adding two Jenga blocks to kind of raise the head a little bit. So I shoved it in between the feet, the front feet, and it kind of elevated it a little bit.
So there's the before and the after. Just a little bit. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.